So you're kicking off season six yes. with a DC comic special. Yes. When you first started out, you got now you have DC, Star Wars. Did you ever think the companies would willingly let you play with their toys? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless you disagree. No, we were pretty sure we'd be shut down almost immediately. Uh, and we were pleasantly surprised when we stayed on the air more than one episode. Wow. Yeah. It's gotten to the place where toy companies literally will ship us boxes of their toys in hopes that we'll put it on the, on the show. Because um, in essence, we're making them look the toys look cool. I mean, yeah. it, it, I would have killed for a show like this when I was a kid. What is it? Any publicity is good publicity, right? Yeah. Is what they're yeah. saying? Right? We, well, I think we, people just like our, like Robert Kirkman was nice enough to send us like a box of Walking Dead figures. <laughs> that he did. Um, and he's like, ah, use, them if you, use them if you want. And it's cool that he even watches it. So That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, in comics, uh, the independent publishers are becoming really popular. All right? Uh, and I think that's happened earlier on television with cable becoming more popular than the networks. Mm -hmm. What's it like being on Adult Swim? How does that affect your show? I mean, with Adult Swim, it, it's been great because we started on Adult Swim before they really exploded into the network that they are today. I mean, we were we were at the, the early stages where it was Space Ghost Coast to Coast. It was the Brack Show. Mm -hmm. Aqua Teen, I think, was, was just starting. And then uh, Family Guy reruns were on there. And if it wasn't for Seth MacFarlane, I mean, who introduced us to them, uh, oh, wow. we probably wouldn't have even known Adult Swim existed at that time, um, but yeah, it was it was really it's been a really nice marriage between the two, and they've been great and so very supportive in everything we do with our show. Well, speaking of Seth MacFarlane, very big success with Ted. Yes, does that inspire you guys to maybe someday make a movie? Um, we always want to make a movie. Yeah, yeah we're we're not going to say <laughs> no, no to work. Yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah, uh, I wish it was as easy as saying let's do it. Um, yeah. No, but I, I mean, we love MacFarlane. We've done a lot of stuff with him. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was even on our early webisodes uh, before. Or Robot Chicken. You did the very first voice on uh, the Conan, right? Yeah, yeah. on the Conan mm -hmm. uh, stuff. So uh, yeah, he was one of our very first. Um, yeah, so it's 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 a small, close knit group community uh, community where we know everybody, and uh, you're always trying to work with each other. Oh, cool. Last question. Season six. Anything to look for? Oh. Uh, we wrote an awful lot of Avengers sketches, <laughs> so look forward to, <laughs> to those that. characters showing up in just about every episode. Uh, we watched that movie and got very excited, maybe a little too excited. That's awesome. Uh, so that's one thing for sure, and we have a lot of great guest voices. A lot of great guest voices. Oh, yeah. yeah, everybody from like John Stewart to uh, uh, Elizabeth Banks, um, Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, help you out. Kesha. Kesha, we got Kesha. That's a very diverse list. Yeah, I like it's, it. it's, all, it's all over the place. The, the people who want to and say they, they're okay to do our show is always shocking. That's great. Thank you so much. Thank of you. Course, Thank yeah. you.